Always keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Now, Aquarius, I feel that this mid month you will you will face some um, strong emotional and spiritual lessons that are here happening in your life in particular in regards to things that have been um, an issue or a problem to resolve to get a hand of to get a hold of to fix to to heal you know there's this is this seems to be a time for some of you where there are some wounds coming to the surface, but it's 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 like um, I feel that some of you it's like a final redemption of something. It feels a very spiritual time. It feels very 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 spiritual, and it doesn't come without its challenges because I feel that first of all there's quite an emotional tone to it. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was meditating for you, I felt very very emotional. You know, very uh, like you wanted shelter, you wanted refugee, you wanted uh, some place to go, and 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 you you can't you you couldn't find it. You know that place, that embrace, where you wouldn't have to deal with the outside cold, harsh world or reality. So I feel that some of you are are dealing here with some vulnerabilities, are some insecurities. They are coming to the surface so that you can process the need for deeper love, unconditional love for who you are and for what your story has been so far. I feel that this is a mid-month focused on self-love, focused on uh, deep healing. And it comes from, I feel it comes from, for some of you, from... from an energy of uh, either debate or problems that may arise that you didn't expect it that may put you on 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 conflict between what's the best way uh to act what to say what to do and you may be prone to want to hide and feel that there's no hiding or feel that there's no safe place for you to hide whichever you wanted to cover I feel that some Aquariuses wanted to cover something or have been trying to cover something. And now it's a time of redemption and revelation for some of you where there may be um, where, where there may be facts and, and, and truths and energies higher uh, that are higher um, and beyond us that need to interfere when the change is not happening or when we are being when we kind of being a little bit destructive to our own selves and i don't mean this as you being or doing anything wrong i just feel that there's something here a layer uh, on this process of healing that it's going to come out for you to deal with it and this is very uncomfortable and in this journey of healing we all go through it uh it's a never-ending process and it's just upon learning to cope with it and observe it from multiple perspectives so you can actually you know have that whole dimension of it and not be focused only on the pain that it might bring but also the wisdom and the new the new the new outlooks and the new creative ideas and so forth so i feel that some aquariuses are dealing here with the wounding element others i feel you may um you may be dealing with uh elements of uh being quite you know impressed or quite surprised either for the positive or the negative i feel that there's quite an impression that is made on you either by someone uh because you do have here the queen of wands and the king of cups so there may be this may be about an individual that may uh, display impressive behavior and it may surprise you negatively or positively or this may be you um having quite a sense of being impressed 
by things around you, by circumstances, by events, by relationships, by storylines that entwine themselves in your life and finding it finding it quite amazing when you start connecting the dots how it all plays out. I feel that some of you are connecting, you know, uh, events and, and storylines that are, are occurring or reoccurring in your life and you're trying to figure out you know the connection and how it all came together to this point I feel that some Aquariuses really want to take a new direction with their life um, they want to begin something new and something fresh something inspiring visionary and quite passionate where they are quite passionate and where they can put a lot of their unique spirit into it but it seems that the time haven't uh, yet fully um, showed up here as you do have the ace of wands as a challenge I feel that you are still in the process of creation so it's kind of this queen of wands it's a little bit of the mother of this wand and the potential and while she is in this process of loving herself, of being more independent, more free, more uh, passionate upon herself and her ideas and her beliefs, being more um, out there in the world and not being afraid to show her original spark, I feel that as she is doing this in this journey of love, she's still creating. And maybe this is why for some of you, you haven't yet found, you know, that breakthrough that would allow this new chapter to begin because there's still here something of your, of your, um, of a very spiritual uh, nature and it has to deal with faith in who you are and confidence levels. They are still being worked through. And as that level that it's required for this, this new chapter, which, by the way, I feel for Aquarius, is, it's a big chapter. And this is why until you have, um, you know, until you have the levels, <laughs> the levels of energy that this chapter will require of trusting yourself, confidence, uh, ability to... Uh, you know, not apologize, not convey, not submit, not um, be distracted by unnecessary things. Until you are in that level of love, you are still here in a phase of creation and not on the breakthrough. But it's coming because it's showing up here. And I just feel that this mid-month may be as well focused on relationships overall. And relationships that do have some level of problems, uh, problems or, or conflicts, or it's more like more than just a you know a conflict. I feel that this is a problem or a challenge with uh, with a relationship that has a wound. I don't know if it's guilt, if it's uh, anything that. You know, uh, you know this this conclusion that as much as we try to work together with each other, it doesn't work, or it has to deal with suppressed issues that that uh, so far haven't come forward, or this is actually you know karmic partnerships and karmic uh, relationships that are now to display their their highest lesson. I feel. For some Aquariuses, it's on uh, bearing a cross and being able to go through it and understand the dimension of that cross, which has to deal with the physical limitations that we find here, but still being able to harness that unconditional love. It's that energy, a little bit of, uh, you know, the Christ on the cross and nothing to do with uh, the religious biblical element of it nothing like that it's just that energy of absolute abnegation and redemption of something of the physical self because of the higher one and not um you know not allowing whichever limitation you are you are finding right now to to take away that faith and that love for yourself and for humankind as well. I also feel that um, some of you 
if you're not resonating with this, I feel that some of you just may find that the atmosphere around you is more dense and heavy. And you may want to uh, or you may desire to get away from it and not being able to find the proper outlets to do so at this time, either because of work restric restrictions or obligations. Some of you are advised to join water and fire and this is the alchemy elements of two very powerful emotional states. And this brings a lot of emotion to the surface and a lot of sensitivities. But it's it's like a... Sometimes it's like a big cry that may need to come out to help you. Relief and actually make you feel good. And I feel that you are releasing things from which you... you know, leaving experiences that are difficult from which you don't even have memory of. So things that happened in the past that either you suppressed or denied or for those of you who do believe in past lives you know lessons from way beyond this physical time and it's a time of redemption and release I feel and also of surrendering you know surrendering to your mission surrendering to your charisma and your truth and not being you know um, not withholding from it because the King of Cups sometimes is a little bit too controlling of her em his emotional world. And sometimes he suppresses and he hides his true deep feelings um, out of fear of vulnerability. So it's, it's that balance between emotions and expression, outward expression, without... Of course, overtaking other things in your life, but as well without denying what's really going on inside of you. And for those of you who feel unsupported or that you're looking for some place to hide, I feel that this is not a time of hiding, but that doesn't mean that you cannot find comfort uh, in your own ways and with your own in your own outlets, but just don't run from things that are happening right now because they are happening actually to help you, you know, and burden and get you ready to that new track ahead. So I hope you have a great mid month. Thank you so much for all of you who have been liking, sharing, commenting. I really appreciate it. And please keep, we'll see each other soon.